Hi guys, welcome back. It's been a minute. I feel like my face has changed so much um, from being pregnant. Also, um, I have glasses now, which is a new thing. Being pregnant, who knew? I didn't know. Johnny got me fresh flowers. Whoops. Because now I'm on maternity leave, which is hard for me because I really like working and not working for the past three months and then going back to work in the beginning of June just to be on maternity leave now uh, is hard. But look, we're literally 36 weeks tomorrow. I have a doctor's appointment. I'm pretty sure I get to pick our C-section date tomorrow. It, it's been a circus, but they finally came to a conclusion that I can have a C-section awake instead of being under general anesthesia, which I was like really afraid that that was not gonna be the case. And um, I'm really excited about that. But it kind of shortened our timeline by a week. So we had to like make sure we got everything done and I can give you guys a little tour of what has gotten done so far. So, I already put together her diaper bag and I can show you guys what's in there at some point. I'll do a bag video of hospital bag, diaper bag, all bag stuff. This is her stroller with her little blanket on top. Um, we went with the Uppa Baby Vista 2, which Johnny broke the first five minutes of it being open because he has zero patience. Um, this is her pack and play with her little boppy um, like headrest down here for when she's a newborn so she doesn't get like a flat head in the back. I guess that's what that's made for. I already have it stocked up with wipes and diapers and um, this toy table and high chair wipes which I've been like disinfecting her stuff with I have a hand sanitizer down here just cuz like before and after you change your diaper you're gonna want this I have butt paste I have aquaphor which I don't think I'm gonna end up using I think I'm gonna end up using the butt paste more and a lotion and then on this side of the pack and play is a bass or a, yeah like a bassinet and it vibrates and plays music so you just like have to turn it on it's not plugged in yet and it has little toys on the top it lifts up like this so she's ready to go and then at some point whoop, at some point this will get taken off and there's like you can see like a mattress pad underneath and this will eventually be her playpen by the way, can we just talk about my shoe situation? Aren't they beautiful? My feet literally don't fit in anything right now. There's still a lot of stuff that has to get built. Um, we have her swing here ready to go. This is her dock -tot, which is not going to stay like this. It's just up here and out of the way so that blue doesn't like try to sit in it. And then this is the base for that um, bassinet part that's over there. So it sits on top of this. I have my breast pump there that I still haven't taken out of the box. Another box of things that just have to get done. Blue's dog food and flowers that I have to find a home for. So let's go upstairs and show you the baby's room, which is not completely done yet, but it's getting there. Do you love our picture wall, by the way? This is like one of my favorite pictures. That was from our bachelorette party in Disney. All of these are like Disney Orlando pictures. All right, let's go. Okay, so put her light on. Ooh. When you first walk in, she has a closet over here that I'm hanging this 
little guy from because I really don't know what to do with it yet. It's for like her to be able to be on tummy time, but I don't know what to do with it yet. She has a closet full of clothes already. Jackets, like her little leather jacket. Can you even? Look how cute this is. A little mini dress. Come on. How cute is that? So this one I did jackets at the front. Zero to three months here. Um, then this is six, six months here, nine months here. So she's set. She's really set. Um, I got her this little mirror. I have a matching one downstairs. Hello. Um, this is her bassinet that I'm washing the cover for. Um, with this pad but yeah so this bassinet is gonna go in our bedroom because she's gonna sleep with us for like the first three months I think we haven't decided yet but that's I think what's gonna happen she has this little nook over here which kind of just has random stuff in it right now that doesn't have a home her little camera that's got to get put up on the wall we went with the infant optics camera. Uh, we tested it out <laughs> with me and Johnny just talking to each other through the camera. It's really clear. You can hear really well. What we're gonna do is put a nail in the wall and kind of like hang it from up here and then turn it so that it's looking down on her crib. That's the plan. We gotta do that sooner than later. This is a Neverland pillow that I need I'm getting a recliner chair, so once the recliner chair comes, that'll get pulled out of there. There's just some random toys and stuff in there, so that has to get done. This is her little rug. I didn't do too much pink. This is a weird elephant thing that my sister got for her. This is her swaddle that we're hopefully going to use. Hopefully she likes it. It's got like a little owl on it. I'm not sure of the brand. Hold on, let me check. It's from Nested Bean and all of this stuff is already washed and everything. So when she's a newborn, her little feet will go in here and then this folds up onto her chest like this and then this comes this way, and this one goes that way, and she gets wrapped up like a little burrito. Isn't that so cute? That I'm not leaving in here. That will come out when she's here. I have a sound machine over there for her, but I actually think I'm gonna take that out of here. I have way more blankets and extra blankets over here. I actually have this really cool quilt that one of our friends made for us. It's Neverland themed. <clears throat> how cute and on the other side looks like this this is going to go on the recliner chair once that comes in let me show you the other side like how precious and there's like hook like how cute oh look who came upstairs this is your favorite room right you love waiting for your sister. I know. So yeah, extra blankets here. I got this Charlie name sign from Amazon. And I'll link everything in the, script, in the description down below for you guys. Um, this is her humidifier. Crane humidifier. We haven't tried it out yet. None of this stuff we tried out yet. This is her pirate ship that has to get hung eventually but I'm not sure where yet. It all depends. Like the recliner is going to go here. So basically, basically this stuff needs a home. That's her chandelier. It's got to go up. But basically, I don't know what I'm doing with this stuff yet. Once the chair comes, I, I need to see if it's going to fit here. And if it does, then I can like 
put this other step away. But if the chair doesn't fit here, then I have to figure something else out. Um, that's her diaper genie, which is all ready to go. I can show you guys. Oh, it's got like the bag in it and everything. I had to watch a YouTube video on how to do that. This is her little name plate that's also a nightlight. That's from Etsy. I have a Steamboat Willie because that's my favorite. A Never Grow Up pillow and a Peter Pan clock. So if you haven't already guessed, her theme is Neverland, hence the pirate ship and like the rug kind of reminded me of like the Darling's house and stuff like that. Then I want to put her chair over here because I put this like little once upon a time sticker on the wall. So that's going to be like her little reading nook. That's the plan. And then over here is her changing table, which Blue really loves this rug that I put here. Even though that's not for you. That's not for you. <laughs> but you can use it for now. It's okay. She's waiting patiently. I have... On here, I can show you guys everything. I have the diaper, or I mean the wipe warmer. I don't know if you can hear me over the air conditioner, but I can't turn it off because it gets really hot up here. I have another hand sanitizer here for when we're changing her up here. I have newborn wipes. Ready to go. I have a bunch of wipes. I have water wipes, which I heard is what you use in the beginning, and then all other kinds of wipes. I have so many bibs. This kid is set on bibs for the rest of her life, I feel like. And then I have this little bin, just backwards. Let me turn it around so I can show you guys what I have. So this is just like your necessities. I, inside of here, I kept the directions for everything on how to use it all. Um, like her snot sucker, her gas passer, her snipper clipper kit, and her skin soother. And then I kept that all here. This is for like the top of her head. I put some of her stuff in here, here, and then the snot sucker, which I told Johnny that's going to be his job. I don't see myself doing that, but we'll see. Everyone says, once she's here, you'll change your mind. So I, I, keep, I kept it like this, right in the front, so that I know how to use all those things when she's here. Then in here, I have... Um, a little toothbrush, um, a medicine feeder, another snot sucker, a medicine cup, some alcohol wipes, um, her gas thingy is in here, and then I have some hand and face wipes. Desitin for her. Little Remedies gas relief drops. I have burp cloths or spit up cloths just in case. We have more hand wipes, boogie wipes, which I heard is amazing. Then she has baby lotion and a nighttime baby lotion in there. On the bottom rack, I did size. Oopsie. Oh no. I did size one diapers just I don't know what size she's gonna be when she comes out Oop. and I did my diaper genie refills which are now all over the floor so let's fix that and then I did like swaddling receiving blankets down here she has a lot of them so they're down there ready to go The next thing I have, so this is her changing table. Then over here we have a toy bin, which all of these toys have been disinfected and cleaned already. 
I have a little bookshelf for her. This is like the crocodile from, you know, Peter Pan. And I have like this little Peter Pan candle holder. And this is a an oil warmer with like the bulb. And a little owl that somebody got for her. And I Heart New York Mickey. And then this is a sound machine that is so cool. I'll show you. You put it on the bottom. And it makes different sounds. You can tap it to change. It just sounds so soothing. I feel like I need it for myself. So we'll see if she likes it. Hopefully she does. And then down here we have some books. So the thing that took me the longest in here is her drawers, which I thoroughly enjoyed doing. Um, I'll show you. So, sorry, there's still stuff up here that needs to find a home. The top drawer is her newborn onesies, three months, six months, she has bows. This is where they're gonna stay just until her bow holder comes. Top drawer here is newborn pants, newborn onesie outfits. Let me show you. Oop. How I did it. Newborn onesie outfits that I just rolled up like this. I'm stuck in here in these little plastic bins. And then these are newborn um, pajamas that I also did in plastic bins that I think I got from Target. Then this drawer are her three month pants, three month onesies and tops that are also in a plastic bin from Target. And here is her six month to nine month pants and onesies. In here is her disinfected, like, wubba nubs, these little toys, um, teething rings, pacifiers, then we have her socks. These I got from Bye Bye Baby. We have pajamas and little fluff butt things. I don't know what she's going to wear them for. I think it's just going to be for pictures. And then last but not least is her 12 to 18 month clothes. She has a lot of clothes, this kid. She's set. So yeah, I can show you guys once it's all finished. I have to figure out what I'm doing with that too. That's like a travel bassinet sleeper thing. Well, everything in here was on my registry too, just so you know. This is a little baby's room for now. There's just still so much stuff that has to get put away before she comes. Oh, and this little picture. Let new adventures begin. I love it. I love it. So, we sterilized all of this stuff. We just need to find a home for it. Um, these are all her spoons and things like that. These are the little things for them to be able to eat fruit out of somebody suggested these to me they said that their kid loved it when they're like learning how to um use a fork and a spoon for the first time that's her little pacifier holder um thing up here is her little section of bottles and stuff i just got a whole bunch of different types because i heard that Maybe they don't like. I'm going to try breastfeeding, but if it doesn't work, I wanted backups. I also wanted Johnny to be able to feed her. Like, if I pump, I want him to be able to feed her, too. Team effort, guys. I can't do this all by myself. Um, over here in the kitchen, she has her own little drying rack. This is the foaming dish and bottle soap. This is a smaller version of it, because when you put it inside of here, it makes it foam up. 
Um, just some other things. Oh, her little thingy to clean her stuff. And this just came in the mail today. Focus. What had happened was we originally bought this and then I returned it. And then we were like boiling everything to sterilize it. And I'm like, it's not drying fast enough. So I ordered this again because I heard really good things about it and I was like kicking myself after I returned it. So keep it because you're gonna want your bottles and things to dry fast. And at night, if you're like dead tired, you're not gonna wanna boil all of the bottles and stuff. You're probably gonna end up falling asleep and forgetting that they're even on the stove. So yeah, yeah, just, just get the sterilizer, it's worth it. It was like $75 I think with the 20% off coupon from uh, Bye Bye Baby. So just get it. In the linen closet, she has all of her own bath stuff. I have it just all set aside for her. Her body washes, her Q-tips, more boogie wipes, um, more body wash. These are our Q-tips that's not where they belong. Um, yeah, so she has her own soaps in here, all different types. So I'm not sure what she's going to react to or, you know, so she has all of her bath stuff in here ready to go. Other thing that she has ready to go is her bath tubs there's one for the sink one for the tub and a bunch of that stuff but it's there's still so much in our back room that has to get um put together i'll show you i'll just show you then you'll understand so this is our spare room this is embarrassing we still have car seats a tent Another car seat, bat, more bath stuff, the mirror. We have another bath thing with bath toys that have to find a home. A swing. This is also um, dining room stuff that has to go away. More baby stuff back there. So, yeah. So I just painted the dining room and got the dining room table in. And that's why that dining room stuff is still back there and doesn't have a home. And then her other stuff doesn't have a home yet either. But we're on a time crunch, so we need to like figure this out. Oh, and her bowls and stuff are in this cabinet too. So I have a feeling once she's here, I'll show you guys what we loved, what we didn't love, and like what worked and what didn't work. I'll also do a video of my hospital bag, her hospital bag, and Johnny's hospital bag because we are going in for a C-section. I can plan it better, what we need, what we don't need, what he needs. We're going to be there for longer than if we were there for a vaginal delivery. So, yeah. I'm sad I don't get to do the vaginal delivery, but I couldn't have an epidural, and I just don't think I had it in me to do it without the epidural. So, peace of mind, and for a healthy uh, labor for me and for her, this is just the best way to do it. So... This is what we're doing. So yeah, I hope this was helpful. I hope it helped maybe you organize your nursery. If you guys have any tips or anything for me on, on maybe I should change how I did something, please let me know. Um, yeah, so this little sucker, she will be here soon. <laughs> Bye guys. Oh, by the way, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment from the latest updates on this little bean. See you guys later.